Hi, hello, welcome to Life with Steph Beth. Today I'm going to be doing something a little random, quite literally random. I just thought it would be fun <laughs> to do. Really quickly, this is my vlog slash whatever I feel like doing channel, but I am wearing a merch shirt. <laughs> just keep stimming and there is a link in my description box on here as well to my merch shop so if you're interested in getting a shirt like this one you can check it out i just had to because i haven't done a merch shout out on my actual like main channel in a while so just i wanted to point it out so today i'm going to let a random number generator determine my answers to the 16 personalities personality test i don't know why this is gonna I, I just want to know I want to know one is it possible that there's actually going to come an actual sensible type out of this crazy random answers and two will it manage to be anything like what I am I commonly type INFJ sometimes 16 personalities honestly can be really random sometimes I've got I, I usually get like INFJ sometimes INTJ but typically INFJ there's a whole thing I talked about the concept of the MBTI personality type and how it interacts with autistic traits and why that might be giving me an INFJ answer but yeah but not all autistic people type that way I don't know anyway if you want to check out that thought it might be this way it might be here I don't remember but I'll try to remember to tag it in a card let's get going you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people so our random generator says four so we're gonna go one two three four ah, we've already broken the rules they don't want you to do neutral but that's what we're doing <laughs> uh, you often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas so let's see roll number two apparently we agree oop, we agree somewhat your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary and it says we're doing four again <laughs> that's terrible <laughs> you often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place apparently we heavily agree with that which actually I do, so that works. <laughs> if your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not to try to solve their problem. Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, we're gonna do five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to slightly disagree. People can rarely upset you. That is not true of me, but let's see what this one says, two. Okay, so apparently <laughs> the, the number person uh, is rarely upset for the most part. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. That for me is a yes, but one, two, three, four, one, two, three, <laughs> I can count. I slightly disagree as the number has told me to. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. I, I don't know seven apparently we super disagree we we don't care about that stuff all right you rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met apparently this person just doesn't care uh, it would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored oh we're going back to one again very agreed you are more of a detail oriented than a big picture person. I wonder if it's just gonna be like, did you lie? Uh, this says seven, so we're gonna say super disagree. You are very affectionate with people you care about. <laughs> Three, <laughs> I was like, what are we gonna say now? Oh, you have a careful and methodical approach to life. This one says two, so we're going to more than slightly agree. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Three. Apparently, we slightly agree. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Three again. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. Four. <laughs> When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. Six. So apparently, 
not indecisive. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Uh, yeah, just right in the middle, like, I don't know. <laughs> When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. Three. Slightly agree. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Six. Disagree. <laughs> in your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. I just, I don't like that at all. And it said six again! <laughs> oh, that's good, okay. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Five. Slight disagree. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities, or your knowledge. Six. Apparently this person very confident. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. For me, that is an agree. But not for them, apparently. They just disagree. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. <laughs> I really don't think this is going to come out anything like me at all. <laughs> you would never let yourself cry in front of others. Two. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to more quiet and intimate ones. Three. Just a slight agree on that one. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Five. So, slight disagree. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Four. Apparently, we don't know. <laughs> you cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something you cannot see, touch, or experience. Seven. Hmm. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than to forgive. Six. So, disagree. You often make decisions on a whim. <laughs> Seven. Heavily disagree. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. Three. You often put your special eff you often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning or the message of a song or a movie. Five. Slight disagree. You always know exactly what you want. Apparently, not at all. <laughs> you rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. One. Super agree. This thing's gonna be like, you're lying. <laughs> when in a public place, you usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. Four. We don't know. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. I think that spun a four there, so we don't know again. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Another four? We're just, we just don't know anything, apparently. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. One. Super agree. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you. Yikes. <laughs> Three. Slight agree. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Another three. Slightly agree. We are 70% of the way through. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. Slight agree again. You look after yourself first and others come in second. Another three, slightly agree. When you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. Five, slight disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Very big agree, apparently. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. We don't know. <laughs> you often talk about your own feelings and emotions. 
apparently a major disagree on that one. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future. Oh boy. Slight disagree. You rarely dwell on your regrets. Number four means I don't know. Spending time in, in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. I think that rolled again, so that's a four again, I don't know. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. Big disagree on that one, apparently. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. Another big disagree. Uh, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than to organized and consistent efforts. Agree. 90% now. Your emotions control you more than you control them. One being big agree. <laughs> After a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. Apparently a slight disagree on that one. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. And apparently a slight disagree on that one as well. You consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. <laughs> disagree, apparently. You still honor the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. I almost, I keep almost clicking on the wrong thing two, which would be agree, you rarely feel insecure. Five, slight disagree. See results. Let's see if there are actual results for this. Wow. Wow. So <laughs> it's trying to say that this random number generator has decided that my personality is commander. E-N-T-J-T mind. So we see extroverted 58%, introverted 42%. This trait determines how we interact with our environment. Energy, 51% intuitive, 49% observant. This trait shows where we direct our mental energy. This is actually probably, that score right there is probably similar to what I actually do score. Uh, <laughs> normally. Nature, this trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions. So thinking over feeling and thinking and feeling a lot of times it can be on the line too. So usually for me, intuitive versus uh, sense sensing and thinking versus feeling tend to be the ones that are really close and even in this random thing it's it was kind of similar. Now tactics, this trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision making, 54% judging, 46% prospecting. I tend to normally have a much higher <laughs> judging amount. That means I like that finality and knowing for sure kind of like the rules and I think that autism really does have a have a role in that identity. This part is kind of an add-on that 16 personalities does. This trait underpins all others, shows how confident you, we are in our abilities and our decisions, and apparently 47% assertive and 53% turbulent. I think the time that I did take this particular test, I often ended up scoring as turbulent, so that is very interesting. Uh, would you like us to email these? No, I really would not. The commander personality! So, I mean... Apparently, I, <laughs> I'm i Steve Jobs and I'm wearing a black shirt. It kind of cracks me up. Um, so basically, these are natural born leaders and they're charismatic. They, I guess, have analyst and social engagement would be good things for them or that's kind of how they are. I really don't want to go into the whole profile, but I just thought it would be kind of funny to look into what a random number generator would decide my personality as and it got it wrong. Not surprisingly, but there are a few that actually those bars are really close to each other that wouldn't be necessarily too far off in the overall span of things. I do tend to be a lot more introverted. However, INFJ is considered the most extroverted of the introverts. So, you know, it just be how it be. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for watching this if you did. I know it was very random, but I just thought it'd be fun. 
anyway, let me know if you know your type and if this is your type, if I randomly ended up with yours, if you know it and stuff like that. I'll link the 16 personalities thing in the description so you can use the same thing that ended up with those results if you would like to. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. I upload to this channel sometimes on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I've been doing all right at actually doing that as of this recording. I don't know how true that is by the time this ends up on the channel, but yeah. So if you would just want to come along with me for literally whatever, sometimes I do vlogs, sometimes I do quizzes, sometimes I just talk about things that are important to me or just things that are coming out of my brain because it's just literally whatever. So if you're down for that, hit the subscribe button. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I'll talk to you in my next video whenever that is. Bye!